My name's Aaron Arnett. I started here about two weeks ago. I'm here at Devante. In o is it in Oteca? Is that in Oteca? I just want to make sure I'm saying it right. Don't say Devante like all the other guys. Devante. Devante in Oteca. <laughs> oh, so, what are peppercorns? Peppercorns are the uh, flowering fruit of uh, the Piperacea. It's a vine, a uh, small bush like plant. Uh, they. The most common that you would see is black pepper corns, and that comes from, it's they're cooked and dried, and then there's green, and the green ones stay green through either like salting or a, uh, like a, they freeze dry them, or they can be put in a brine or pickled. Um, fresh peppercorns are very, very difficult to source. I looked into that and just could not get any. Apparently they, they spoil rather quickly, so that's why they go through the whole um, curing process. This is what sort of brined peppercorns can kind of look like. And that sort of pickling solution and everything that they're in and that's on them is kind of uh, salty. It's kind of, you know, kind of salty fruit smokiness to them. Very, very strong. You don't really want a lot of that in what it is that you're going to be cooking with because it, it'll just, it'll taste like that. And I kind of focused on green peppercorns. Um, you don't see them all that often. Um, they're kind of an old school, you know, green peppercorn sauces or, uh, you know, a classic kind of steak sauce. Um, I kind of like the fresh brininess of it. So I've got some green peppercorns that I'm going to be using, uh, like capers. So I'm just kind of a few anchovies, a few brown anchovies in there. Um, I've got some uh, fennel tops, mint. Pinch of rosemary, not too much. That's also something in a fresh form can be bitter. Uh, tarragon, I absolutely love it. And then just a copious amount of parsley. This right here is a little bit of the uh, oil that I use to funky the rabbit. Salsa verde, traditionally, I mean, you want lemon juice and uh, salt. But with the anchovy and the briny acidity of the um, nature of the the, uh, the green peppercorns, I felt that it wasn't necessary. It just kind of plays on it. So it's the back leg, the fore leg, saddle. What you have here is a whole rabbit, essentially. What I have here is an already rinsed piece of uh, call fat. Whatever you're going to use to wrap it in, you want to make sure it's nice and cold. So this has already been kind of refrigerated for a while. It's kind of set. So you're going to take it, and then you want to pull it over and around. You want to get a nice piece all the way around. And you take it. It's like the original sous vide, okay? You wrap like generally pretty lean pieces of meat go in call fat and it can kind of add some you know some moisture to it hold moisture in um, you know things that get wrapped in it it gets it's sealed it's almost like cryo vacuuming it so, tarragon coming out of that just take it just take a little bit on the plate no big deal green peppercorns on the plate. You can taste the pepper that's coming through, but it's not totally, completely crushing it. The peppercorns are coming in because they're fried, there was just a little toasted dried, and then the fresh used in the salsa verde, the tarragon, and all those herbs kind of mellow it out, and the oil kind of balances everything out. Personally, I don't like them. I think they taste like chewing tobacco. You've got to spend a lot of money to get really expensive ones are good, but for the most part, your average sun-dried tomato is just not for me. I don't like them. I don't like to use them, and I'd like to see what Peter can, uh, can do with that.